What's going on YouTube? Alright, so recently I got a request to see the American Muscle with the Turbo RDA. So look what I got! <laughs> the American Muscle with the Turbo RDA. Now I was thinking to myself, I got this Turbo RDA with a great build deck and this crazy little turbine thing on the top of it. What should I put on there? So, I asked the rest of my friends. And they told me they want to see the zipper coil. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do the zipper coil. Now, it's really easy. You're going to need a drill. I use an Allen key to get this twist in there. I'll show you guys the rest of that later on. I'm using 28 gauge Canthal. I prefer Nichrome, but I don't happen to have any Nichrome at the moment. So Canthal is going to have to work. You need some toothless pliers. Very important that you have the toothless pliers, because otherwise it's just going to be a twisted 28 build, and it's just not going to be the same. Okay. Next, we have our regular pliers, our cutters, and our screwdrivers. And then I'm using OG Japanese cotton today. Switching it up. Now, the first thing you want to do with this, close that down. And you want to get a good amount of canthal wire you want to twist up. I'm going to use about, it looks like about three feet, two feet. Two feet looks good. Now, I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you guys how I made the wire. I'm not going to make the whole entire wire right now because there's two ways to do it. Well, you have to do it two different ways. You have to twist the wire one direction, then you have to do the other one the opposite direction. That gives it that zipper effect. Now, the way I do this, I just get my wire, straighten it out. I twist one end together. wire work with me today thank you very much so grab that one in and I just twist it together manual twist at the end of that the only reason why I do this is so I can grab onto the, the pliers better this way so let's clear some space clear some space clear some space all right and grab that down with my pliers and if you want to start off kind of slow to get everything twisted all together. So let it go for a little bit, let it go for a little bit. Once it starts picking up some of the twists and everything starts getting together. Start speeding it up slowly, keeping a good amount of tension on my right hand. That right there is keeping the wire from bunching up and doubling over. And now that I got a good enough twist in there, I'm going to spin it up all the way. You want to get these wires twisted as tight as possible with, yeah, let's see. You want to get a pretty good twist on there. I usually just let it go until it pops. And usually when it pops, it's actually pretty good, so I just kind of let it go from there. Aha. There we go. And again, we had some beautifully twisted wire. I don't know if you guys can see all that over there with the camera. Should be a good view. Can you see it? All right. So you can see how that's twisted. All right. Now here's the next step. After the wire is twisted, I'll take this part out. I'm going to cut this to the size of the wire that I'm going to use. So this right here is enough for one side of the zipper coil. We're going to twist this together. Install that to the edge of my Ryobi drill. To get that lip on there nice and tight, you're going to get your toothless pliers. Very important that they're toothless because you're going to grab the wire and you're going to hold on to it. All you're going to do is you're just going to drill. And as you're drilling, you're going to pull the pliers right across. Nice, steady pull. And what this is doing is it's kind of like scraping off the roundness of the wire. So it's going to round it out. It's going to flatten it out a little bit. You'll we'll probably do this about, I don't know, I do it about 10 to 15 times just to make sure I get that right amount of flatness of the wire. Make it come out looking nice and pretty light. Dime me yet, drill. I need you for a little bit longer. There we go. Come back to the edit. Now this part takes a good amount of time to get going. You'll notice it get easier to pull across. I'm putting a light amount of pressure. I'm not squeezing it down tight, but I'm putting enough pressure on there to where it's, to where it's slightly touching the wire. So I can grab it and I can just slide it right across without an issue. And that's the pressure I'm using the whole entire time. Keep twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and I'll do it a few more times. All right.
right, strictly for time's sake, I didn't go through. I would. I, I went ahead and built the rest. Of, made the rest of the wires. Uh, it's a long process. Like I said, you have to keep there and you flatten them out. And then since I'm using Canthal, it's gonna take a long time to get that done. But the results are a lot better with Nichrome or any softer resistance wire that you're gonna be using. Uh, like I said, I only had Canthal, so I had to work with what I got. All right. So I had the two wires made. So the way I showed you the first time, I showed you how to twist it one way, and that's how you get the one side of the zipper coil. Now to get the other side, to get that zipper effect, like this, you would have to twist the wire the other way. So it has to be twisted in the opposite direction that's going to give you that zipper effect on the coil. And then when you flatten it out, it gives you more of a flattened look on the wrap. So it's a good, it's a good clean look, it's a good nice build, it's a decent coil. And, uh, I'm going to get started with the building of this. I've been excited to do this all day since I thought about it. Idea was brought to me and I said, yes, I do want to build a zipper coil because they're fun. So I've been working on these wires all morning, honestly. I've been going through and I've been twisting them, making sure I get them right. And then I finally got it down and I realized how much time it takes. And I don't got enough time in a YouTube video to show you guys how long that'll take. So the process is simple. Twist the wire, grab a little pliers, flatten the wire, and then do the exact same thing. Just reverse it. Simple. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and cut to the build video for this Turbo RDA and get this started for you guys. Alright, so now we're going to go to these wires. So I'm going to get my two wires, the ones that are twisted in the opposite direction to each other. So like I said, it gives you that zipper effect, that zipper look on there. I'm going to go ahead and get them in parallel and I'm going to wrap them together. I'm going to do a five wrap. One, two, Three, four, and one more in that beastie. Five. Okay. Do a little quarter wrap just to keep that thing together. And then screw the pliers and pull this sucker tight. So now you should see the zipper effect along the coils. It's a pretty snazzy coil. Alright, we're gonna trim one end of this beastie off. Throw this in there right away. Now normally I don't do this, but this time around I'm gonna heat treat this. I'm gonna tighten these both down. I'm gonna heat up this one coil and get it set. Just because this wire is very springy right now and I don't like it, normally I'd use a torch, but I don't have a torch on me. So I'm going to kneel it through the actual RDA itself. So we're going to kneel it through here. Go ahead and tighten this wire down. Just so I can heat this one up and get it set. And then I'll wrap the other one because this one's not going to hold form after you wrap it. Pulse this one that pulse this one slowly because these wires will bunch up on top of each other. And it'll be hard to keep this thing straight. But the good news is, once this thing gets heated up and everything starts going, then it starts to eventually start to even out and it'll get a lot easier to move. And then you can flatten everything out and keep it looking pretty again. I mean, a lot of my final adjustments are made actually on the RDA itself, just so I can keep it looking nice. Like this build right here. Now that's how it should fire up. That's sexy. That's one coil ready. All we gotta do is put in the second one. To get that set a little better. See, now I can trust that this coil will retain its shape. So I can pull this out without having to worry about it. Then go on to the next one. Back into shape. Oh, 
you, you go back into shape. Didn't say you can disform. Pulse this stuff, otherwise it'll, it'll. You gotta remember to pulse it because if you don't, you'll see the wire start crunching up on itself and shrinking and getting all catawampus like. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. Yes. Yes. Such a clean bill. And it just looks downright impressive if you ask me. I'm really excited to wake this thing up. See that zipper effect right in there. Let's go ahead and see that puppy heat up. Oh yeah. Yes. Inside out. It's a nice clean heat up, but it's a good ramp up time too. So I can get a nice long pull off of this thing without having to worry about it burning me. I'm going to wake this sucker up. Wire flying everywhere. Wire flying everywhere. My boss is gonna kill me. Ow. There should be like a worse safety glasses video on these fucking things. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, it is common sense. I'm cutting thick wire. Small pieces of thick wire. Common sense would dictate. Maybe you should put something on your eyes. Maybe that makes sense. But nah, it's America. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tighten that down, tighten that down, tighten this down. Oh yeah. Make sure the top cap fits. Hope and pray, hope and pray, hope and pray. We're in business. Okay, so now I'm using Japanese cotton today to wick this. Right, let's go ahead and juice this bad boy up. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go ahead and soak it. Soak it. With my mystery juice. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed this, if you've been watching the progression of my videos, you'll see that I went from like, yeah, you got little 10 mils, little 15 mils, oh crap, you got a 200 or 120 mil, they're like, yeah, that's cool, but still wasn't quite enough, so I went out and bought the big boy, 236 mils of deliciousness. Final adjustments on the coil. Let's see how she fires up, I'm excited. That looks nice. It's a nice fire. Now what I just did there is I tested for hot legs. I held it down for a good minute to get how long of a pull. Now what I do is I see how long of a pull I can take. How much hot, how much of my what juice is gonna be used on that second or how many seconds of a pull that is, and if there's gonna be any hot legs on there. Crackling everywhere. It's like 
fireworks everywhere. It's kind of painful. All right, put the cap on. Let's see how she vapes, guys. So excited right now. I'm waiting all day to do this. You guys have no idea the level of excitement I'm feeling. Okay. It's a pretty nice build. That flavor is amazing. I am very happy with this. It's a good parallel build that's got to get twisted in there, but it's not too stiff and not ramp up time like a twisted parallel build. And then again, I'm only using 28 gauge. I would have used higher gauge wire, but these close holes could hold four. I mean, it's holding four percent of the twisted 28 gauge, which is impressive enough as it is. I mean, you can't expect too much. The turbo RDA is pretty solid. I mean, Ryan, the camera guy, let's see if you can put his hand in front of there real quick. Hey, Ryan. There he is. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, he's the one that actually had his RDA. I'm like, hey, you have the turbo RDA, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, hey, can I borrow that for a video? He's like, yeah. So I thought I'd throw it out there. What build do you want on there? So I thought it over over the night. Told it came back and says, you know what? I want the zipper coil. And when I heard that, I was excited. Because I had no clue what I was going to do until the day of this video. I knew I was going to do the video with the turbo. I knew I was going to use the American Muscle. But I didn't know what I was going to put on there. And then the zipper coil came up. And then I got really excited about the whole entire day. Wow, that thing throws some clouds. I'm enjoying this. That's sexy. I haven't done really many cloudy builds recently, and then this build came up, and just trying to show everybody, like, yeah. Well, another question I got for the American Muscle is everybody asked, well, can the American Muscle support bills that'll throw clouds out. Can I go really low? And I want to clear this up for everybody right now. sub -oming, super sub -oming, those really low builds do not equal clouds. Clouds are surface area and heat. Equal heat dispersion and surface area over a long coil and a lot of cotton. Like, obviously, you're getting more juice for it to vape, so it's going to take more juice to wake it up. But, if you have all that, everything's put into place, everything is good, this thing is still good, but it's Japanese cotton. I've learned that once it's wet, it's wet. When it's dry, it is dry. There's no in-between ground for this stuff. It's like, oh yeah, that thing is firing. It's like fireworks everywhere. Look at that thing. I'm gonna try to fire this from a distance. I don't want to burn my hand anymore. Look at this fireworks. Just that's all that juice that's inside the wire. So it's like, it's going in between the wires of the of the canthal. So it's getting in between those cracks of the zipper. So while it's in between the cracks of the zipper, in between the wire, that's making it pop like that. So the juice is staying inside the wire. But a good amount is going to the wire as well. So it's popping up. It's popping up really bad. But at the same time, that wire, that juice is going everywhere. It looks, looks like a firework display. Every time. Right. Listen to that turbine go. That thing is moving. It sounds like a jet engine is getting ready to take off. Here we go. That is a cloud. I want you a better view of this. I want you guys to see this whole entire cloud. Step back a little bit. Let's see what we got. Those are sit down clouds. Those aren't me standing up taking a good cloud pool. That's just me fill my lung capacity to where I can when I'm sitting down. That's not a full lung fill, but I mean, I'm excited to get this thing. You know, I'm going to stand up and give this thing a good view. Hold on. All right, here we go. We're going to go do this in the standing up. Let's see how big of a cloud I can pull off this thing. Okay, it's warmed up. Let's throw in these clouds. It's got that good flow to it, it's got that good pull onto it. I just enjoy it, but that last hit was kind of dry. I wasn't, wasn't trying to chase the dry hit, but it happened anyways, you know. Kind of my thing, but didn't want to do my thing this time. Okay, it's monstrous. That's a thick, dense cloud. I'm in. 
enjoy it. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you guys like this, go ahead and press the like button. If you didn't like it, well, don't press the like button. I mean, not a big video, I guess. But make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on the rest of the